Hey, it's John Siskovich, and I had the question, do your chickens need heat in the winter? Let me share with you some of the observations I've had from being a chicken farmer, and uh, we'll let you make the decision. So we're in my winter chicken housing, and this is kind of a luxury hotel of winter chicken housing. I'm so super impressed with how this turned out that I'll definitely do it again in the future. One of the things that I have not done is turn on this guy right behind me. That's a propane fired heater. It's a, I think, 60,000 BTU heater. There's a vent right there and it has a gas line that goes out, or maybe it's this way, uh, to some pretty big tanks outside. We use that to extend our season in the greenhouse if we're starting greens or want to push things a little bit further or keep a hard frost off greens in our other greenhouse. But in the chicken house, we haven't been using it. You can see behind me, and occasionally it'll flutter, uh, there's a really big fan, and we use that to vent. There's an opening on one side and a vent on the other. All together, the greenhouse, not drafty. The, we have a side that we fold down, and that lets the birds go in and out all day, and then we close it up at night. On windy, freezing days like today, I keep that side wall up and make sure that these fans can turn on they're triggered by a thermostat, so if it hits, I think I have it set to 35, 40 degrees. Uh, if it hits that temperature, those will turn on and it'll do a complete air exchange in here. <clears throat> so with chickens needing heat in the winter, how a chicken handles the winter is if you give them fresh water and plenty of food, they'll eat that food, metabolize it, generate heat, and if you think of a down comforter on your bed, if you're underneath a down comforter, you're generating heat and that down is capturing it. Well, that chicken is covered in down. So they're eating this food, metabolizing it, generating that heat and keeping it in their down comforter. You'll see them all fluffed up and warm. And as long as it's not really drafty and there's not a lot of wind to suck that air out from underneath their feathers, they'll stay puffed up and warm and even on the coldest of days, and they'll be fine. They'll walk around, uh, you can hear them around me, maybe I'll show a little shot of one all puffed up at the end of this. Um, but they do all right. So we don't do any supplemental heat. We get a little bit of solar heat, but even right now there's some snow accumulating on top of the greenhouse and there's not a lot of sun in here. They're also very curious about the tripod. Get out of here. <clears throat> so no supplemental heat. They do just fine. You want to keep drafts down and you want to be on top of having no moisture in your coop. We put down fresh hay all the time. We're doing deep bedding system. If we notice it's wet at all, we'll put down new hay. We'll make sure the air is exchanged in here and it dries the bedding out because if it's wet and it's cold, then you run into some serious problems with your flock. Uh, that's about it for chickens reheat. Let me show you a quick shot of some chickens all fluffed up and kind of huddling together. They're over there on the ground right now. Some of them are just, a lot of, a lot of it's just, they're interested in the camera and what I'm doing here and they're bored because it's winter and they can't roam around and eat grass and bugs. So uh, yeah, let me, t let me turn around and uh, show you those chickens. So here's the birds on our chicken jungle gym. See, she's a little puffed up. Uh, they're all kind of just with their shoulders hunched up, kind of hanging out right now. They're happy, they're fine. I've had no signs of frostbite. Everybody's doing really well. We call this the chicken jungle gym. It's a good scene here on Camps Road Farm in our chicken house. That's it from uh, Do Your Chickens Need Heat? If you're going to do heat, uh, really quick note, don't do anything with open flame. I mean, that seems common sense, but uh, heat lamps without a protective cage or open flame can be really dangerous because there's a lot of hay, dry material in your chicken coop. And if you were to combine those two elements, it could be really tragic and disastrous. If you're going to do something, use a, a very simple you know, plate heater or you know something that if it falls over, it's not gonna light anything on fire. That's it, subscribe to the channel, keep the conversation going in the comment section below, and until next time, I will see you out in the field.